guys? What does this moment mean for you? Oh, I guess it's sort of been a long time coming, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm just so relieved that it's sort of finally over and yeah, just stoked to get started. How did you spend the morning with Zach? Uh, yeah, I was trying not to think about it too much. We, I was pretty confident that uh, Port were going to take me, so we just sort of were just chilling out and just, yeah, trying not to think about it too much. So how were you told about it all? Uh, obviously, I had chats with Port uh, throughout the year and over the past couple of weeks, and uh, they were pretty confident that I was um, going to end up here, and whether that was going to be in the main draft or in the rookie draft, they were always confident. So when I didn't get picked up last night, I was, um, yeah, pretty confident that I was going to end up at Port today. So, yeah, so I'm so keen. Okay. How did it work today? Did someone bring you and um, say welcome? Yeah, I guess um, on the AFL app, I was sort of just watching the picks come through and just waiting for my name to sort of get get put on there, I guess. So I was just watching that. And then, yeah, when, when I saw my name, um, Paul Stewart called me and just sort of congratulated me, which is awesome. So now I'm just over the moon at the moment and just really keen to get started. You in the training tomorrow or, yeah, when do you, when do you officially start up? Uh, yeah, I think so. So I think me and uh, Lockie start tomorrow morning. So um, got my COVID test this morning. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah into it tomorrow. What would you like having Dad as your, uh, as your coach? Yeah, I think it's going to be good fun. Um, obviously, he's coached me a little bit through my junior ranks, but I guess at the end of the day, I'll treat him as one of the coaches and he'll treat me as one of the players and I think I think it will be fine. So, no, but we're really looking forward to working with each other. You won't be too hard on you? Like you won't extra laps or anything like that? <laughs> nah, nah, I don't think so. I think he'll be all right. And do you make it, does it feel like the, the move back from Perth and all this planning has come to fruition today and it's all worthwhile. Yeah, I guess so. Um, obviously, we moved over when Dad got the opportunity here and I guess um, it was a good opportunity for myself as well. And I guess to now be officially a Port Adelaide player is just, yeah, it's just unreal and I'm just so stoked, yeah. You've done a fair bit of training with the, with the boys, so you've been in pretty seamlessly, you know, the guys, so that's a big um, plus for you yeah, going forward. Yeah, I guess I've done a um, little bit of work with them and I'm mates with a few of the boys as well and obviously that week of training in the pre-season I guess is really helpful now going into the club I feel really comfortable and I uh, know a few of the boys, so yeah. What memories do you have of when your, your dad was here playing? Uh, to be honest, not too many. Um, I was pretty young back then but obviously I know he had a pretty good career here at Port and won the Premiership as well so I'm hoping to follow in his footsteps. Um, where do you sort of see yourself with this season coming up? Do you think you play as well as you can? Where do you, see, where do you think you fit in? Um, yeah, so I'll probably start as a, in the forward line, uh, as that high, sort, high forward, small forward sort of type. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep working on my game and see where it takes me. Anyone else that you're partnering up with you know, during your time here with training and stuff? Any, uh, any other players? Uh, yeah, so I know um, when I trained here um, in the pre-season, I sort of try to use Zach Butters and Connor Rosie, just sort of try to link up with them sort of thing and um, just learn off them as well. Obviously them being up and coming stars, I guess, and they're young, young players as well. So yeah, just try to learn off them. Any of the older players you're gonna try and latch onto and uh, yeah, get them as a kind of mentor? Um, I reckon Travis Boak might be one. Um, I'll try just sort of hang around him and learn off him. Obviously he's a great player and a great person as well. So yeah, I'll just try to learn off him.